guys. It was a pretty special night. We got Rick and Jane from Tampa. It's Jane, right? It is Jane. I want to make sure because I didn't want to say the wrong name. <laughs> but they they live up in Tampa and they're subs to the channel and like what we do. We're like, hey, can we come by and say hi? I'm like, yeah. And they wanted to take us out to dinner, but I said, no way. We got deer meat in the freezer. We're eating deer meat for dinner tonight. And, and it's our second Tasty Tuesday. Yep. And it's our second Tasty Tuesday. And so we got to stick with the deer meat theme. Marlon and Tebow are in timeout out on the porch. And tonight, I want to give a big shout out to Christy Pila. Adam Pila from Pila Motorsports. I was so stoked when Christy made a comment on, on a video about our fried turkey. Well, Christy, tonight we are frying deer meat. Fried deer meat. We're also going to make a brown gravy and add some sweet Vidalia onion and some shiitake, baby bella, and oyster mushrooms. It's going to be really good, super easy, and uh, you guys hang out. So we're making rice right now. Rice is really easy. And if you're making rice, you want it to taste good, I use this Uncle Ben's Original. So they have a really cool little measurement tool right here. I want to cook four servings, two and a quarter cups of water, one cup of rice. Pretty much, is, this is one of the few things I use a, uh, <laughs> use a, um, a recipe for, just because I want it to be right. Okay, let me go ahead. Make sure you salt your rice, otherwise it will have no flavor. Put a little bit of black pepper in there. It's gonna give it some great taste. All right. Once that stuff gets hot and starts to boil, which it shouldn't take long, all right. Let it come to a boil, then we'll turn it down to low and let it simmer for about 25 minutes. So whenever I'm doing a dinner like this, I get my rice going right off the bat, drop the temperature down. And don't mess with it because if you sit there and stir it around, you just ruin your rice. Rice is boiling. We're just going to turn this down to about a three, keep it covered, and let that cook for about the next half hour. I wish there was an easier way to do this without getting it all over the place. So if you've got an idea, let me know. Whenever I was a kid, I had really sensitive front teeth. And it, I just could not chew it off the cob. It would, drove me crazy. So I'd always cut it off. And I love corn on the cob now, but I catch myself cooking it quite a bit off the cob, just like this. It does taste a lot better, though. Oh, yeah. We're about to do it up. OK, you guys, so I have got some deer meat here, cubed up deer meat. We were out actually out at the ranch with Cliff and Leilani, and this is all just deer meat, sliced up, ran through a cuber. It does not have to be ran through a cuber in order to do this. So, to demonstrate that, this is deer meat that was not ran through a cuber. That's just regular old deer meat. I'll show you what to do with either one of them. Come on over here. Okay, so that's actually, you can tell, you can tell that's, I know because I do it a lot. That is off of a ham on that deer. So you want to you want to clean up as much of this as possible. This I probably picked out the toughest piece of meat on the entire animal. You want to try to fillet off as much of that as possible. And then if you have a dog, just feed it to her like that. Oh, Marlon and you are so mad. They're like. This house is a prison! So, I didn't get it all, but that's okay. What we'll do is, we'll just cut it into little pieces like this. Do you guys like deer meat? These are all pieces of cubed up deer meat. Good stuff. You can use whatever season you want, but tonight I'm using Everglades Rub. The rub has a nice smoky mesquite flavor to it and I haven't had it in a little while so I'm gonna season it all up no salt no pepper no nothing I'm just gonna use the Everglades rub so let's get our, our oil hot we're not using a lot I mean if you look in this pan look at that see that not a lot we don't want to drench this in oil 
All right, so we'll just take our deer meat, toss it right in here. Like that. We use these little Ziploc containers for like everything. And just dredge it in flour. If you put your meat in the pan before it's hot, it'll just absorb all the, the oil and won't really cook right. So we'll let that get hot. I'm gonna throw this lobster tail on the grill. Hi, one more. That should be all right. What kind of oil is this? Uh, this is canola oil with just a little bit of olive oil mixed in. I don't use all olive oil because it becomes too rich. Okay, so the whole reason I cubed that meat is because you take a meat, like let's say that's from a big old buck, and he may be, you know, four or five years old and tough, but when you when you trim it out, you cut off all the silver skin, all the connective tissue, run it through the cuber, it's gonna tenderize it, and it's also gonna allow for a lot more surface area, so it really absorbs the flavor of the seasoning and uh, makes it more enjoyable to, to eat. Now let's start cooking our corn. Now if you notice, there's nothing in this pan. I'm just gonna use the moisture from the corn. I want it to really get hot in there. Everybody who dislikes butter is going to love you for this. Yeah. Then, original Everglades. How hot do you have the burner? About 7 out of 10. Okay. And you'll actually smell, it'll want to caramelize the sugar on the outside. Corn is full of sugar. So when you do this, it'll start to want to brown and caramelize the outside of it. Really, really nice. How do you know when the uh, meat is fully cooked, Rob? Well, with this, I'm, I'm cooking it about three quarters of the way, you know? You could eat it right now, no problem. It was nice, fresh meat, so you don't have to cook it all the way through. So, the same way with anything else, you know? When is it done enough for you? Now, I'm cooking it like this, so I can throw it in the oven. And Miss Brenda Courthouse up in Iowa, she's the one who taught me about your meat, like, like if you're cooking country fried steak or country fried steak chicken or cubed deer meat, when you get done cooking it, throw it in the oven for a little bit, and it'll really, really, really help it become as tender as possible. Now, I was mentioning that we're gonna make a gravy. You don't have to do all this, but if you wanna make a really, really good gravy, follow along. Got an onion. Cut your ends. This is a sweet Vidalia onion. So we're going to use those mushrooms and that onion. Does some of your olive oil go away? Yeah, yeah, sure. Now let's go flip this. Oh. Go oh my gosh, I forgot about the lobster. Well, that's why I'm here. <laughs> All ready? Put that over right there. Put that over right there. Good. We'll shut it for a little bit. Turn it down. Well. Look, you can start to see a little bit of the color coming out in the corn. Okay. I'm getting so spoiled to this. I can sit in there for a half hour or so, it really doesn't matter. What take temperature do you have your other one? 275. So now we'll take just a little bit of this flour. Like that. Throw these mushrooms in there. Let's start doctoring this up. Just like that. Now 
obviously everyone's only going to eat a little bit of the of the gravy so it's not like you're just gobbling down tons and tons of, of butter. Take a bunch of onions, throw that in there. Take some Everglades. Just let them start to cook a little bit. Now, if you really want to do something special, you could dice up like some prosciutto or or like some salted ham and put in there. You could even you could even put some bacon in it. Bacon would be great in this. Hello, thinker. Oh, it smells good. Look at that. Coming together quite nicely. Can you smell that? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm gonna walk inside with him. Thank you very much. Look at that. Now we're really getting somewhere. I don't want it too soupy right off the bat. I only cover, I just barely cover it and it starts breaking down and starts thickening. I'm gonna add more water. It's gonna take more, it's gonna take even more water than that because. All right, so it's, I've been simmering it for about 15 minutes now and it's reducing down. Reducing means the water is, is evaporating out. So I added a little bit more salt, a little bit more pe pepper, and uh, it's really coming down nice. So Tebow is running for mayor over there. Oh, Tebow. What kind of rice was that, by the way? It's just original Uncle Ben's white rice. Comes out nice, nice and fluffy. Bad. Hope you're hungry. I was taught to always clean your plate. <laughs> it's a dirty job, but I'm I'm up to the task. <laughs> Our gravy is absolutely ready to go. And what we'll do is we'll put just a little bit on the rice like that. Oh yeah. A little bit on top of that deer meat. Just like that. There's ladies and guys all over the South that make this all the time. Don't think anything of it. So make it your own. Season it up the way you want to season it up. And make it however you want to make it. But for us, this is how we made it. All right, well, I sure do appreciate y'all coming. You know, it's funny how how life goes for us, you know, nothing's ever planned. I knew I wanted to cook deer meat tonight, but I was actually going to cook that lobster tail for lunch today, but then was like, no, if they're coming over, I'm going to make them lobster tail. And so this is just the way we roll. I hope you get to enjoy this and uh, we're going to say a blessing. Lord, I sure do thank you for this day and I thank you for this food and thank you for the blessings you, you heaped upon all of us, Lord. Thank you for our salvation and please forgive us of our sins. Alright. Oh, that looks good. We gotta find out what you think. Um, I'm actually gonna work up something real quick. Y'all just start eating. What are you gonna do, babe? I'm gonna get them a little butter. Mm. There's butter on the top, babe. Over there. Yeah. Really good. Really it's good. delicious. Is it? The meat? It is the most tender I've ever eaten. That is delicious. Mm. Wow. Good job. That is really tender. That oven trick. That must be it. I mean, that's like full of pork in there. Oh, well, it's delicious.
I don't think I've ever eaten meat that tender before in my life. Brenda, you rock! You know, this is the dish I pretty much grew up with. Anytime I was out and about coming home and I smelled deer meat, I knew mom would have rice, brown gravy, and deer meat. And I love it. So, Christy, Pila, you inspired this, and uh, or you inspired me to make this video. So, hope you enjoy it. And uh, Adam, I gotta come talk to you to do my injectors. And we're out.